human. What is it that connects us? It's when we help someone. That is what defines us. Whether we bring our friends together, or we cross the globe to help a complete stranger. We cause a ripple that spreads and expands. Building a bridge, connecting us together. Extending a hand to the forgotten. Giving the broken a second chance. Or a hope for the ones who defend us. And lighting the way to a new life. Real heroes everywhere are the ones who remind us that each act of kindness matters. That we can all be part of the connection. And each of us can change the world. This is... This is... This is... This is CNN Heroes. whose mission is to feed starving kids around the world, concentrating most recently on Haiti. It's a country, obviously, that's still in dire need of our help. Here to tell this hero's story is a proud supporter of artists for peace and justice, Gerard Butler. Whenever a story starts like this, two brothers walk into a bar, it usually doesn't end well. But this story's different. Magnus McFarlane Barrow walked into a bar with his brother. While having a drink, they talked about the heart-wrenching images from the Bosnian War they'd just seen on TV. And so they made an extraordinary decision most of us don't make. They decided to help. And drove a truck filled with supplies to Bosnia 23 times Magnus drove from Scotland to Bosnia. That amazing act of kindness led to his life's work. He started Mary's Meals and feeds more than 420,000 children a day in 15 countries. Every day he lets children know that they matter, that someone thousands of miles away cares about them. One simple decision and millions of starving children have been fed. That's what Magnus did. And it's the story of a hero. I think of my upbringing as, in some ways, being quite privileged growing up in this beautiful part of the world, it's such a peaceful place. But in 1992, during the height of the war in Bosnia, I watched this news report talking about how people were suffering. I was really amazed when I realized that I could do something to help them. And since then, it's been one step at a time. And today, we're feeding about 420,000 children uh, every day in 15 different countries. It's just lots of us doing little things. People who donate money or who volunteer their time. Lots of small acts of love. and different parts of the world, but I was really shocked by what I saw in Haiti. The squalor here is just unbelievable. 300,000 people living on what was a, a rubbish dump. It's poverty that strips people of their dignity. I feel a real sadness for the children to see them living amongst this. It makes me feel very, very sad. What's your name? Peter Obama. Peter Obama. My name's Magnus. <laughs> when you come back here to our world of plenty and privilege, I feel distraught that children are living like that. And I'm talking about before the earthquake. Since the earthquake, there are all kinds of other horrors there also. I wanted to do something and we began providing meals for children in City Soleil, in these schools that have been built there by Father Tom, an American priest. After the earthquake, a lot of the children lost their parents, so they were just wandering the streets. You know, all we had to say was, hey, we have 50,000 kids that need food. to get it for us. It's just been a godsend for us. 
When you see hungry children, the first thing you want to do is give them something to eat. But you also want to set them free, and that's why we provide those meals in the school. I allow them to benefit from the education, which can be their ladder out of poverty. What do you call hands? You can see that change is possible. It's a wonderful thing to see. Please join me in honouring CNN hero, and I'm proud that he's a fellow Scotsman, Magnus McFarlane Barrow. Thank you very much. It's, um, this is very, very humbling, um, but it's also wonderful. It's wonderful to be able to receive this award on behalf of, of the thousands of people all over the world who are working to, to realize this vision that we have, that every child in the world should be able to receive at least one good meal every day in the place of education. Today, we're feeding 460,000 children. The number has gone up since we made the film. I just, I just want to take this opportunity to, to thank my family, all my co-workers, my friends, especially my wife, Julie, who began this work with me. And I just want to thank Mary, the mother of Jesus, uh, who brought up a child in poverty, who knew what it was to be exiled, uh, to thank her for her uh, inspiration and, and love. Thank you. Coming up on CNN Heroes, an all-star tribute, Marissa Tomei, Holly Berry, and a live performance by Bon Jovi. The Johnson & Johnson Campaign for Nursing's Future is proud to sponsor CNN Heroes, an all-star tribute, and salutes the honorees who make a difference every day.